Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Dutchman Atlas 2912BH. This is a great bunk model, has some higher end amenities in here. As we go through, you'll see some of the accent lighting they have, the beautiful solid surface countertops, and big super slide over here to really open this space up. Let's actually start off right over here though on the kitchen. Uh, as soon as you walk in, take a look at this folks. You have a couple big drawers right here. Open that up. You can see some decent storage there. Same thing with this drawer right underneath. So, uh, you know, whatever you want to put in there, it, it does make for good storage. It's still close to the kitchen. So if you want to put like some pots and pans and stuff in there, you can certainly do that. As I mentioned just a moment ago though, beautiful solid surface countertops in here has the nice a smooth edge uh, you know coming down right here and you have the accent lighting you can see it right underneath the cabinets as well as in the backsplash obviously you can turn those off if you want but I really like them I think it helps brighten the kitchen space up and again just gives it that little pop and appeal right here in the corner this is pretty cool they have a power tower you can pull that guy right up just like so you'll see it has two 110 outlets as well as dual usb ports so if you need to plug anything in right over there you can do that when you're done you just drop it right down coming forward a little bit you have kind of the industrial style faucet right here the dual sink top covers these are cutting board quality they're very thick uh, if you do use them as cutting boards i recommend using just one side that way your other side will stay looking nice you don't have knife marks on both sides that way and then right there is our double bowl undermount stainless steel sink. The uh, thing I love about this is obviously it's undermounted because you have the solid surface, but it's also a very modern sink to go along with the more modern faucet. You'll see that the corners here uh, are almost zero radius. You know, they're not rounded. So again, just a lot more modern, clean lines. It's also a deep sink, so it is very usable. You can put some of your bigger pots and pans down in there. Uh, of course, a window right here for natural light, LED light right up top. Coming over to this side, you have the three burner cooktop with the glass cover. That way you can utilize this as prep space as well. You can fold this up and back. You kind of have a double backsplash there because you have the acrylic one here. And then the glass panel obviously will kind of act as a natural backsplash too. Uh, as I mentioned, the front burner there is high output. So if you're in higher altitude, you can boil water a little easier. And underneath you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. As far as storage underneath, right underneath the oven here, you'll see you have a drawer there. Bank of three drawers right here in the center. And these are also quite deep, folks. So if you have some larger items like, uh, like a hand blender, immersion blender it's called, you can stick that in here. If you have like an apple core, you can stick that in there just because you do have uh, a little more depth there, which is great. Sorry, it's new, a little bit tougher to pull some of the drawers open. And then right over here to the side, you'll see that uh, you have storage there too. So that's, you know, even though it's small, you can probably fit a smaller trash can in there. At least that way it's tucked away. And then you have like a uh, spice rack right there. But again, great prep space overall on the countertop because the sink top covers the cooktop cover and you have the space right here in between. If we look at the storage up top, you have tinted glass all the way across storage there as well as over here and there aren't any breaks in between here this is all one big storage area uh, so that way you have several different access points microwave right over here you can see the weight of the unit 6540 pounds not bad for the size of the rv and then right underneath that is your hood with both a light and a fan Going one step further in, you get into the Dometic fridge freezer combo. You'll see you have good space here, little cutout there for some of your taller items, couple of drawers down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. And you do have the stainless panels on here to go with the stainless suite of appliances in the kitchen. Moving down one further here. So this side right here is basically pantry. Uh, you have the top shelf and the bottom shelf. The middle one right here is actually really cool. As you can see, this one pulls out, just makes it a little bit easier to get to. Uh, personally, I wish they would have ran an electrical outlet in there so you could put like a toaster or something here, but either way, it is nice to be able to uh, pull that in and out. On the other side, you have a shelf up top and a hanging rod down below, which is awesome because that way you have a place to be able to hang up the kids' clothes as the bunks are right next door. Underneath, you have three drawers. You can see those there, another one right here. So as I mentioned, you have the bunks right here in the back. You have two double bunks in the industry. It's what we call a double over double. 
uh, because they are wide enough. You can sleep two kids per bunk, which is great. 300 pound weight capacity per bunk. Uh, so if you're going to sleep adults up here, obviously, you know, one adult per bed is no problem. If you have two, uh, you know, myself, I weigh a little over 200 pounds myself. So uh, my wife and I wouldn't be able to make it work, but uh, you can certainly sleep, uh, you know, your average adult in either of the beds too. You have a couple windows up here as well. Uh, you'll also notice right here on the side, I really do like this. They have the nets. So that way you can put like cell phones or tablets or something in there. And you will see you have dual USB ports right there to be able to charge those LED lights on both the top and bottom. Take a look at the bottom bunk. You do have one window down here, uh, which is an emergency exit. And again, you have the nets with the USB ports there. And then under that bottom bunk, you have more great storage. Personally, I would probably put a laundry basket down there and throw my dirty clothes in it. Uh, but again, you know, whatever you want to do, you can. Uh, again, it is just a nice storage area. Privacy curtain, of course, uh, so you can close that off at night. We step in the very back here, we go into the bathroom, and it actually is surprisingly a pretty large bathroom. You can see I have plenty of space to be able to move around in here. It's generally not the case. Usually in the rear corner baths like this, it's really scrunched up. Uh, because this one is a little bit longer for being a bunk model, you get that extra room. Right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. Porcelain bowl, folks. That means it's nice and easy to clean. It'll stay uh, looking longer, or sorry, stay looking nicer longer as well. You will notice that you have a heat duct in here because you do have ducted heat throughout. You have an AC duct on the ceiling as well, so no matter if it's uh, hot or cold outside, the temperature in here will be nice and cozy. Robe hook right here on the wall. Great place to hang up your towel as the shower is not far from you. You'll see the tub shower uh, right here. The tub is nice when you have a bunk model because if you have smaller kids, you can still give them a bath if you want. Shelf built in, hand wand to make showering easier. It's a curved shower bar, so that way the shower curtain comes out a little bit further. It gives you a little more space to turn around without touching the shower curtain. I know I personally hate that when you go to turn and you're rubbing all up on the shower curtain. It's never a good feeling. Uh, and I'll stand in here. I'm six foot just to give you an idea of height. You can see that I, you know, even at the, the point without the skylight, I still have some clearance with the skylight. There's definitely more room there. And that skylight does let in uh, some natural light as well. Then right over here, you will see your countertop, stainless steel bowl there, electrical outlet. If you take a look underneath, you have a little bit of storage there. And then right up top here is your mirrored medicine cabinet and you have additional storage behind the mirror. We take a look at the off door side here. This is our super slide. So uh, right on this side here is the dinette. Plenty of room for four people to comfortably sit. You'll notice the leatherette on the seat here, which is great. You have a little bit of cloth there for design and the leather kind of takes over the top. But I like having it on the seat if nothing else, because that way if the kids have wet swim trunks and they sit down, it's not going to ruin your cloth, cleans up nice and easy, or if they spill food again, uh, easy cleanup. This also does drop down into a bed. You simply remove the legs here uh, from the flanges in the floor as well as the flanges in the table. Table will then sit right here along these rails, take the back cushions, throw it on top, and that will give you that additional sleeping space. The other thing that's really nice for, and I've done this several times too, is if you have a pack and play, if you have really small kids, you can drop that table down, put the kids up on, uh, right up on here in the pack and play. That way they're up off the floor, so you still have good walkway, and then it's a very safe space. You know that pack and play isn't going to fall, roll, anything like that. Uh, if you take a look at the bench seats right underneath here, open that up for you. You have two very large uh, drawers that pull out here. This is probably the best way to access a, your storage underneath the bench seat. Rather than having to lift up the cushion itself or have a door that swings open where you still have to get down your hands and knees to grab it, with these right here, you literally just pull it out. You can access whatever you put in there. Large windows all the way around. You'll see that in lieu of any storage, they went with bigger windows here, uh, which I kind of like because, again, it lets in that natural light. And when you have a lot of darker colors like you have on the valances and the furniture here, you know, lightening it up with light countertops and flooring and bringing that natural light into the RV uh, definitely help. So you have big windows here, which do that, LED lights at night. You also have the big skylight right here in the kitchen, which, again, lets in that light as well. Uh, right over here to the side is your, your uh, sofa. This one is a trifold. You can see how nice and comfortable it is. If you've never slept on a trifold before, it's actually probably the preferable type of sleeper sofa in the industry right now. This right here is actually what you get to sleep on. So this part folds down. That'll be like the, the head of it. And then it uses the cushions from the couch itself 
So that way you don't have like a bar on your back or an air mattress that will deflate on you. So it's a great place to sit, also a comfortable place to sleep. And then if you're sitting there on a rainy day, you probably want to watch TV, and that's what we have right here. Uh, you'll notice that it is decorative. It's not just slapped up there. You know, you have this guy right here, which is nice. You also have the back lighting there. 40-inch TV right there in the center, and that is connected to this multimedia center right here. Uh, this one is great. It controls the speakers in here as well as outside. It is a DVD player, and it's also Bluetooth capable. So the cool thing about that is if you have music on your cell phone or your tablet, you can connect to that via Bluetooth and be able to uh, control your music. Or maybe you want to listen to a podcast. If you've downloaded the latest episodes of Stories from the Road, same thing. You can connect to this via Bluetooth and be able to listen to it right here in your RV. Right down below, you have the uh, speaker here. So that way you get, you know, I guess not quite theater-like quality, but, you know, it still sounds a lot better than what you're used to in your RV. Uh, sound bars have definitely come a long way in sound quality. And right underneath that is your Furion 30-inch fireplace. So if you've never had a fireplace before, I know a lot of people think it's overkill, but not only does it look nice, the bigger thing for me is the fact that it's functional. This is a space heater, folks. So if you are uh, you know, camping somewhere where you have shore power, you can use this as electric heat to help warm up this part of the camper without having to use your propane. So if you just need to take the chill off on that cold morning or cold night, that is a great way to do it. So we step into the master bedroom, you'll see right here in the center is your queen bed. A uh, nice decorative bedspread on there as well as the pillows. And you will have a couple of directional lights right up here which will assist if in case you want to read a book at night. On both sides you have mirrored wardrobes. On the one side here you will notice that you have an electrical outlet as well as dual USB port right in the back. You have a big access hole to that from the bed itself. So that way if you need to charge a cell phone in there or put a CPAP machine in there, you're able to still get to that from bed, uh, from the bed rather. But again, you have a couple hanging rods, you have one on either side, so you do have good hang space. You have the shelf up top, kind of a small little ledge right down below, which again is enough for maybe a glass of water, just be careful. Uh, probably a bottle is better so you don't spill it. A little bit of storage there up top, you have the uh, tinted glass doors. You'll also notice you have accent lighting right across the top here. You do have a vent right up top, but this one is already braced and pre-wired for a second AC. So if you want a second AC, you can have that installed there. It does have the 50 amp power cord already run to this unit. Uh, you also have the WineGuard Razor antenna in here, which is great. Uh, it's low profile. You don't have to worry about dropping it back down. Just turn it to find the best signal. And if you want TV in the bedroom, your hookups for it are right there. Last thing I want to touch on are the doors here. I like the fact that you have actual slider doors rather than curtains. This, even though it is fairly lightweight, it's not necessarily a weight sensitive unit that allows them to have the doors, which just gives you a little extra privacy. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Atlas 2912BH. Right up front here, you have a powered tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. Just flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see you have a light underneath. You can also flip that switch on. That way you have light at night in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. And then behind that, you have your two 30 pound propane tanks with the cover. As you can see, it's nice and easy to get in there. You just undo the thumb screws, lift up the door. That will give you access to those tanks. Then behind that, you'll see right here, you have rails for your battery. And if you also notice right here, you have a battery disconnect that is very accessible. I really like having that too. That way when you're done camping for the season, you can just turn that and it will kill all power to the RV so it's not slowly trickling out. You look at the nice front end on the Atlas. I really like this too. It kind of has a pseudo front cap on there. It gives it a great look. Uh, this is not a window. This is just painted on here, but it kind of gives that illusion of a window again, giving it that higher end look. Uh, you also have an LED light up top as well as another strip right underneath. And then you also have the diamond dutched plating here to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by the tow vehicle. You will see there's a three year structural warranty on here which is currently the best in the industry. Coming right around to the side you'll see that it has solar prep so if you do want solar all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there and it'll trickle charge your battery. If we take a look inside the pass-through, you can see how open it is. You have this big wide door here, which I absolutely love. That way if you have larger items like a grill or maybe you have some uh, big executive chairs you want to slip in there, you can put them in on either side. 
You'll see a series of lights right here to control your front lights as well as some underneath. You also have the in-command system right there. That is the brains of the unit. Uh, there's a control panel inside that lets you basically run all the lights inside and lets you run the awning as well as things like uh, your tank monitoring panel will be on there too. Great touch system. That is the brains of it right there though. So if you ever have to get in there, everything is color coordinated, extremely easy to troubleshoot. Uh, 50 amp power cord we have wrapped up right here. We'll see that when we go around the other side. Uh, power stabilizer jacks on here. This front control will control the front two. You'll have another one in the back to control the back two. Bear in mind, folks, that is not auto level. It is just for the stabilizer jack. So after you back it up, use your leveling blocks to level it out. You'll then use your stabilizer jacks to stabilize the RV so it's not rocking when you're walking inside. Uh, this door itself is magnetic, so you don't have any plastic clips or anything to break. And it's also slam latch, so you can just slam it down just like so. You take a look up top, you see the large power awning that just rolls out with the touch of a button, same thing to go right back in. And you have the LED light strip on there again. Both of those will be controlled by that in-command system. The steps to get in are great. This is the solid step system by Lippert. And folks, it is exactly that. It is very solid. If you're sick of getting in and out of RVs where the steps feel like they're bouncing or you're going to fall, you definitely won't feel that with these. Plus, you have the foldable grab handle right here just to get that uh, extra control when entering or exiting. The treads themselves are aluminum, so those won't rust out on you. And it has the grip tape on here again for extra traction in case it is wet out. Making our way back a little further, right here is your fresh water inlet. So if you're looking to do some boondocking, you want to fill your fresh water tank, that'll be the place to do it. Right next to that is your double electrical outlet. So if you do want to plug anything in out here, uh, whether that is a, you know, you want to plug in a blender or an electric griddle, if you're cooking breakfast, you know, coffee maker out here, whatever, that'll be the place for it there. Take a quick look up top. You'll also see you have two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. But as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable, so you can sit right out here underneath your awning and be able to still somewhat control it. The wheels on here are aluminum alloy. They are gorgeous wheels. The cool thing about aluminum, as I mentioned with the steps, is the fact it doesn't rust. So that way they will stay looking great for years to come. Making our way back a little further, this of course is one of my favorite parts about a bunk model, and that's when you're able to get the coveted outside kitchen. So you'll see you do have a little bit of countertop or prep space up here if you want. Uh, you know, there is an electrical outlet up there if you have something small you want to be able to put up here. But more than anything, I'd probably put like cups or plates, things like that. Um, but you know, that is a good space. You have the LED light strip going all the way across. So if you need to light it up at night, you can do that. Right underneath here is your two burner cooktop. Pull this out, lock it in place. You'll see your two burners right there. This, of course, does have your propane line, which will plug into this quick connect right here. Now, if you have like a grill or something you want to use, you can use that as well. Just remember, if that grill has a regulator built in, you'll want to take that off because it is already regulated at the tanks. and You don't want to step it down twice. Right here is your refrigerator. So this is where you'll put all of your condiments, your ketchup, your relish, your mustard, maybe some beverages out here, soda, beer, whatever else you want to put there. And then right over here is your pull-out TV. So this is kind of a cool system. You see how it pulls out just like so. If you want to sit here and watch it, you certainly can. But the other thing you can do is if you take this handle, you can actually pull back on it. And then just like that, the TV will swing out and around to give you a little bit different viewing angle based upon where you're sitting. So uh, that is a, a pretty cool TV system, especially because it doesn't take up a lot of realty. It just kind of tucks away. There's your other uh, power stabilizer control right there for the back. Then on the very back of the Atlas here, you have the rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof, whether you need to get up there for maintenance or just get up there for a higher view, uh, vantage point. Having the rear mounted ladder, of course, makes it so you don't have to bring one. Spare tire is mounted right here on the bumper. Again, hopefully you never have to use this guy, but in the event that you do, it's probably one of the easiest places to get to right here. And it has the cover on there, so hopefully it'll be in good shape and it makes it slightly more stylish. The bumper itself is hollow and it has the end caps that way you can take the end cap off and store your sewer hose in there so it's not rolling around with everything up in the pass through. And if you take a look up at the very top there in the center, you will see your backup camera prep. Folks, this is a pretty decent sized travel trailer. If you want a backup camera, having the prep there makes it easier to install, meaning that it will save you money on labor. On the off door side, if we drop right down here, you will see your termination. Both your black and gray tank valves are there too. 
Then if we come right back up, you have a spray port here for outside water access, little uh, blue coiled hose, hook it up right there. That is cold water only. Right underneath that is your city water inlet. So if you have city water, that's where it'll go. 50 amp detachable power cord, we saw that in the pass through, that plugs in right here. Black tank flush is directly below that, so that uh, the black tank has sprayers built in. Hook a hose up right here and you're done dumping the black tank and it'll help wash out anything that got left behind. Satellite inlet up top, cable outlet, or inlet rather, right down below. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Atlas 2912BH. If you're interested in this bunk model travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.